Alrighty, so last time we left off for, the, this is now going to be part 4, act 4, but we're actually going to go back to act 3, uh, if you guys remember, inside of the town. Um, you can also just click on the Aspirant's Plaza right here, there's a little like a uh, button. This little green one right here will let us travel to the area. Another uh, thing that I want to go over is if you want to reset areas, you can hold the control and you can make a new instance. This will basically reset all the monsters if you want to, it's optional, it doesn't really have that many uses in most cases, but I figured I'd just teach you guys. It's if you want to like farm the same area again and again. Anyways, so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna be going into the trial, uh, the labyrinth right here. So it's the trial of ascendancy. So we're gonna click on this and we've completed all of these. And if you need to know where they're at, I'm just gonna mouse over. Uh, if you followed the walkthrough, then you should have all of them, but for whatever reason, maybe you didn't uh, complete it. Those are where it's at. It'll tell you exactly where it's at. So we're gonna click activate. Now, this is very, very important. I've been playing this game for a long time, so I'm just going to be rushing it. However, take your time with this, okay? If you die here, you have to reset the labyrinth. The first one is not that bad at all. Oh, that thing did an insane amount of damage. Oh! That's where uh, I, was I was talking about, like, sometimes if something gets a crit on you and, uh, you know, multiple strings of hits land, or if there's a... Uh, multiple monsters hit you, yeah, you can take a big chunk of damage, but... Uh, for the most part, we'll be okay. We might need to actually get some more HP instead of getting that extra arrow. So some of the stuff uh, over here may hit kind of hard, but we can, we can get some more HP if we need it. It's no big. The most important thing is to take your time. The reason why is because if you die here, you have to do the whole trial of ascendancy again. And this is just something when I was reading my like last playthrough, some people wanted me to show off the passive tree at the start of every single part of our playthrough and at the end. So I'll try to remember that just so you guys can have some sort of a reference. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably actually end up getting uh, some extra HP. I think that that would be good. I can just type in the word life. Also, this game doesn't pause. So try not to open up your like skill screen here because you can actually take a lot of damage. So we can actually get um, these two nodes over here and that's going to have 15%. Because if we go this way, we get six, six, that's going to be 12. So it gives us more value to get that one. Sometimes certain paths are going to be more valuable than others, but I got to make sure we still keep our HP oh, under 1400. So when you see these areas called the Aspirant's Trial, it's going to be basically a uh, boss battle. Slowness so you have to fight him three times. And what you want to make sure you do is you throw up your Shrapnel Ballistas. And kind of shoot and move, shoot and move. That's kind of the, the goal right, with him. Just keep on shooting and moving. And ideally, once again, just like every single Path of Exile a boss, you want to keep moving. Ideally, always be behind him. Throw down some turrets. You were born if he hits you once and it lands, you're probably he's dead. The, is the offspring he's really not that bad like he's like relatively fair there are some bosses where i feel like they are a little bit unfair but he's a very fair boss you just shoot and move and i mean the reason why he he will one shot you is because well he hits really hard for physical we don't have any armor and our build is all evasion based so i mean there's a chance that he will just go swing and he won't hit anything <laughs> but i'd rather you not rely on it just l learn the mechanics of just don't get hit I mean, if you want to run armor, like, you're realistically not going to be able to throw on good armor anyways. And the reason why is because, when well, that's really fast. Strike, oh, the these are random, by the way, where you're, you're going. And I'll show you how the map system kind of works. The first one's, like, so easy, it doesn't really matter. But there will be more traps and certain obstacles as you progress. How's the season? Um, I mean, I like PoE, so, like, I, I'm enjoying playing it, but the... The league mechanic for earlier stages needs to be revamped. They almost always change something within the first few days of the launch because the, the player base is like, Dude, what is this? Is this even tested? I mean, the Arch Nemesis one was absolutely wild. That It came out as strong as it was. Some of the degens that were lasting like 40 seconds is just like, there's no way, man. No way. You were born. Sometimes it can be difficult if you don't see him and he'll go in a corner. Because he, he does have ranged attacks, but and just shoot and move and you'll be okay. 
So how this thing works is you don't really know where you're going. There's this thing called this little like altar statues. You can click on it and it kind of tells you <coughs> the path. So if we go here and the, the next like boss encounter is going to be more likely right here. So if I go to an area and it shows this, I can go back here and then go there. There's, there's sometimes there's multiple paths. The first one is so simple, it really doesn't matter. I mean, we can do this whole thing in like five minutes. Uh, but sometimes uh, it will be very long. Ooh, cool, we got another Orb of Alchemy. So now, we'll probably finally get an upgrade here. <laughs> but it's gonna be nice. And we got all of our stuff leveling up and we're about to level up too. So if you come to something where it looks like there could be like some sort of puzzle to do it, um, it could be a puzzle and there are extra rewards in here. And it's actually not that bad at all to get um, some of these extra rewards. In fact, I, I mean, I don't really have any currency right now. I'm sure, let's go do it. Now, some of these can be very dangerous though. But the rewards, I mean, if I can get one Chaos Orb, I'll be satisfied. Um, you can bypass basically all of the uh, trap mechanics in the entire game by getting this item called Immortal Flesh, and it's a super cheap item. It's like one Chaos Orb, which uh, uh, six of these uh, orbs of alchemy we've already gotten like I don't know five, six. Um, but I, 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 you know, I bought my other items with it. There's also certain secrets in these. So like you can see, this is a little switch over here, and this will lead to a secret. This is one of the coolest things like in Path of Exile. We'll get this dark the shrine. Pursuit of power can be a grotesque affair. So some of these things in this game in general are kind of vague. Like this one says the pursuit of power can be grotesque. I don't, I don't know what that's given us. It's some sort of a buff though. So now we can get this buff. I guess that's what the secret was over here. And again, be careful if you open up your uh, inventory in this area, you can uh, get wrecked because well, the game doesn't pause. So over here, just take it slow. Oh, well, we, apparently we were still standing on it. Okay. This door, and we're gonna have to go back into the fire area. I'm just gonna wait for the thing to go by, and it's all about just taking your time. Okay, pretty sure we're good now. Okay, so now we're gonna flip the switch. Okay. And we didn't even need to flip the switch. Sometimes, like, the switches, uh, they either actually mess you up because they'll close a gate. But, uh, we can progress over here. There may be, there may be some sort of secret over there in this way. But if this is that, okay. So this one over here. Sometimes there's, like, keys that you can get. So you can see over here, there's a silver key and a silver cache. So do I want to open it? Sure, we can go try it. Why not? I'm here just to, you know, show you guys the game. Uh, these are risky to do, though. I'm just going to give you guys a warning. Uh, but if you get this belt called the Mortal Flesh, you can basically bypass all of the mechanics. It gives you negative resistances, but you can overcome those by just getting items. But some of these, yeah, they, they can be kind of extensive to get, because right now I need the silver. Door encourages curiosity. Oh, okay. As long as it's not one of the puzzles where it's 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 a game called Lights Out, where like this switch activates this switch, and like you have to get like all of these lined up. Uh, I, I will attempt to do this one for you guys, just for funsies. So here's where we're gonna get the key. Oh, we have another orb. Okay, cool. Like I said, some of these switches will not do anything. I think it's for me. Yeah. Take it slow. And you don't have to do this. In fact, I'd probably recommend you guys don't do it, but I want to see what we can get. Because I still want one, like, Chaos Orb so I can get uh, a replacement on my uh, helmet, if possible. Where there's a silver key, so, there must be a silver door. So now the silver door is over here. I'm going to go do it. This only takes, like, another minute here. Any mystery can be unlocked if one has the right. Is that even worth it? What? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, where, where's that? This is the Emperor's fault. It wasn't really worth it. Uh, so, what these whetstones do, they can increase the quality of an item. And the other one, the Armor's Scrap, which is this one, can inc increase the quality of an armor. And the maximum is 20, but you can technically go further than it. So, I can get like a little bit more percent in the... I get 20% more armor. And that could be like an okay. If I hold Alt, I can see the min and max roll so this evasion rating on this one's relatively high it's like 280 
But was that worth it? Eh, not really. If I got one Chaos Orb, it would be. But I mean, I don't know if like, you know, 10 of these or 20 of those is like worth maybe a Chaos Orb sometimes earlier on. But eventually they're worth like nothing because they'll drop in massive stacks and no one really cares for the uh, currency. This game's awesome. It's a free game. I absolutely agree, Big Dan. This is one of my favorite games of all time. So um, I'm going to go back over here so I can look at the path. So right here, I'm not going to be able to get to right here, which is kind of what I want to go towards. But we did get like two orbs of alchemy over here. So it's like, okay. Shroud. All right, so now we're in the final An one. So again, to be trying not to die. An must keep us and sometimes there will be some traps over here. Trouble. The shrine that we got might have disabled the traps. Sometimes the shrines will do certain things, make it so you take no damage. You just have to like kind of know the attacks of it. But the shrine isn't going to be guaranteed. Like the other shrine that we got, it's not like it's guaranteed. It's going to always spawn in. Well, oh, that thing can hit for a lot of damage. That was kind of dangerous. We had like half our HP, but. But if he actually hits us with a lot of his abilities, it will it will be ripped. Most of the abilities will one shot, <laughs> especially his slam attack. But that one's like it's very telegraphed. Of tyranny right. is in so we grab that. that would only slow me. Enough room for the uh, is that a hybrid flask? Okay, cool. So grab the mask, I guess. And make sure you pick up the key. Uh, also, this is this is for like a quest to give you a ring. You can just drop it. It's not even a big deal. Before Anyways, uh, emperor, now we get to pick worthy. one of the chests. It, the there's no way to know what chest has what. Yes. Up all orbs. Receive our blessings. Embrace and our then we can also and rise put a special ability on some gloves. Deserve. So if I put my gloves over here, it's going to trigger the word of Tempest on hit. So I'm going to select that, and now my gloves are going to be enchanted. It's going to change the level requirement for it because of the, the enchant. But so what is trigger word of Tempest? So you'd have to type in like word of Tempest, path of exile. And there's probably some like PoE wiki um, that will have like the information on like what it does. So this makes it so it deals some sort of lightning damage and it triggers a spell when you hit. Okay. And then it has a cooldown of 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, we can just deal some lightning damage. It's okay. It's just like bonus damage. It's not. It's really not that big of a deal. But the most important thing is, is if you, you happen to have more keys, because you can get more keys just by playing in the labyrinth. What you want to do is you want to click on this altar of ascendancy. Now, which ones are going to be that? This is basically where we're selecting our super class. Dead Eye is 100% the best one uh, for the earlier stages. The so how I plan to make this character, power. eventually we could swap the raider. And you can change, but it's not like you can just swap on the fly um, and it's going to cost you whatever regrets. So we're going to go ascend to become a Dead Eye. And now what are we going to get? I really like to get the ricochet. And the reason why is chain is absolutely amazing. And then eventually we can get this uh, and this munitions, which will make it so we fire additional projectiles. I want to get this one earlier on because what we're going to try to do is complete the campaign and get all of the like end game maps done as fast as possible. Chain and extra uh, uh, arrows is really great. Um, or we can get some far shot, but chain is just so great. And on top of that, the projectiles can chain when colliding with terrain. So there's a 30% chance when we shoot literally the wall, it will bounce and hit a target. It's it's awesome. It's one of my favorite things. I don't know if there's really any other class in the game that can do that. Well, there's a lot of classes in Path of Exile where like, something's very niche and unique. Yeah, Deadeye is amazing for speed, and that's why we select it. Okay, now we're actually starting Act 4, but that has to be done first. Now, um, we can maybe look at getting uh, some upgrade on the boots. Um, I want to move faster here. So, this is optional. I don't know. I hate how Windows does that thing where it, like, it, it like makes the opacity of it go weird. Anyways, we're going to be looking for a pair of boots uh, called Nomix Storm. They're usually like, this should be like one orb alchemy. Right, two. Uh, it just lets us move way faster. It's going to give us, instead of giving 15% movement speed, we have 40% movement speed. It also gives us some dexterity. It's just used for the movement speed though. I'm just going to buy them. It's, it's fine. They, they will be cheaper later, but I just want them now. And that one had like a couple like sockets. So hopefully he will respond. I'm just gonna sell some items here. Uh, let's see if we have anything good. 
Oh, it's 56 life. That's actually a Don't decent amount of life. What does this have? This one has... That's just dex. Okay. I'm just going to swap this ring. Just so we can have some extra HP. So it looks like that guy might be AFK. And there's going to be a lot of times where trading people are just AFK. Um, I, I wanted that one because of the sockets that it had. Like That one's three orb out. Give me a second. These are just really great for leveling because they have just incredible movement speed. We could also look uh, at uh, Prism Reef. Again. Sometimes you'll see, like, they'll, there'll be one that's listed. I don't know what the ratio of uh, Orb Alchemy is. So I think it's, um, what is the ratio? So one one to four is about the, about the ratio. So if I gave someone four Orbs of Alchemy, it'd be the same as a Chaos Orb. But I only got two of those. Now, if I gave him, uh, you know, some Fusers, I don't know what the Fusers are going for. Like, I think it's six to one Chaos Orb. And then uh, let's see what the... Uh, currency rate for the vol orbs because i have a vol orb so i have a vol orb and i want chaos orbs let's see what the the trade ratio is so four to one okay so I'll, if you give a, a bunch of currency to well, let's see what, what gcps are going for uh, so those are called gem cutters prisms so there's a lot of just small currency and like you'll eventually start learning uh how many of these equals one chaos orb so three of these equals two chaos orbs okay so two to two to one I mean, we can contact this guy. Let's let's see. Oh wow. Okay, cool. We can get a cast orb from this guy. So, we're gonna trade our two gem cutters prisms, and we'll get one cast orb. Perfect. Wow. Okay. In the very beginning, there's just not that many of certain currencies that go around. So this was actually a nice little surprise, because later it, it will be a completely different price. Um, but now that we got our one Chaos Orb, what do I want to get as my little upgrade here? So the thing that I really want to get is uh, our helmet needs to be upgraded, but the belt is going to be the best thing to get uh, for our upgrade. Sorry, I don't know why it does that like thing on Windows here. But uh, what we want to get is um, Prism. Prism Weave, and we only have one Chaos Orb, which is fine. So these all can roll, but I want to have the highest elemental resistance one. It goes all the way up to 15. So what I'm going to do, I can also type in Immortal Flesh, because like I actually really like this thing. It, it, it's like one Chaos Orb, but it gives you a bunch of mana regen. Like You can get up to 300 life per second. <laughs> it is like actually insane. Maybe we should just get this. Um... Like, it, it makes your character, like, it's, it's called the Immortal Flesh for a reason. Uh, it is so good, but it gives you negative resistances. But, like, you can get all of your other pieces of gear to have resistances because it's, like, so worth it for leveling. It makes leveling, like, a joke. I mean, if I get a perfectly rolled one, 350 life per second, okay? I and mean, no one's going to pay 60 Chaos Orbs for it, okay? But for the most part, uh, yeah, it, it is pretty nice. But I want to get Prism Weave. All right. And I'm going to put in this filter here at the bottom where it says buyout price maximum one chaos orb. That's all I'm paying. And I want to get uh, the most. And like most of these, like the, the rolls aren't going to be that big of a difference. The most important thing is how much resistance can we get. Okay, that one's AFK. Here we got 13. Okay, let's, let's buy this. This is going to be a massive boost to uh, our DPS. And you'll see. Require 50 though. Don't get Mortal Flesh. Oh, well, I mean, we're not that far off. We're 36 now. Immortal Flesh just makes the whole game so easy though. Like, it really does. Uh, okay, so that guy's AFK. So we're going to go to the next guy. And this will happen when you, like, try to trade with one person. He might be AFK. He might have already sold it, and he doesn't even want to respond to you. Maybe he's busy. He's fighting a boss. He doesn't have time to, to do the trade. It happens. So we just start scrolling down the list. Like, I'm, I'm hitting trade, direct whisper, and if that guy doesn't respond, I just scroll down and I hit the next one. So I, I message that guy, message that guy. Uh, we're going to whisper this guy now. Oh, that guy already sold it. Okay, let's go to the next one. Bam. Direct whisper. And we just we just go down the list. And it just takes some time. And if it's corrupt, that means we can't really modify the item. Technically, you can modify corrupt items, but it's, it can be a little bit more difficult. Alright, we'll go to the next one. Dang, this, they're just all... All AFK, and this happens sometimes. Sometimes the trade website can be broken too. That is a very real thing. But this is like this is genuinely how you can get massive upgrades in your character, and you're, you're going to see a massive damage upgrade. Okay, cool. Finally, someone responded. 
Oh, we already got it. Uh, and if if you it, this this happens sometimes. Uh, which one is this guy? I don't even know which one is the one we're supposed to go towards. But um, imbalance. Okay. If you if you just hit like decline and you can just whisper them back and be like, oh, I already got it. Thank you. I'm not sure which which one. Um, it was Act Two, Sarm Kentman. All right. Three. Sometimes they'll be in a group, but. There's also like the next act, so I gotta wait. I don't know which one is it. Is it? Sometimes their name is in like another language. It can be kind of hard. I, I don't even know which one. See that? Maybe I should have joined the other guy. And you can whisper them back, um, or you can just invite them to the party. Usually, people don't like it if you do that. But like, if you're listing an item, I mean, it's like one chaos orb. Um, so sometimes people come back for it, but. So sometimes one person will be trading like with several different people at once. And if, if the guy's like taking too long, sometimes you could just go whisper someone else. Uh, usually they'll go to their hideout. I don't know why. Uh, Cause he's, oh, let's see. So it's our current party. He's level 61. So he's probably not gonna be in the same. Uh, we can go visit his hideout. You can just right click in the party. I wish they made the trading a little bit easier. Hopefully he will. He will come over. Uh, this one's, okay, there we go. Finally went to his hideout. Sometimes people are just busy though, and it's it takes a minute sometimes, but that's the nature of this game. All right, Let's go. Now watch how much damage we are going to be getting. It's going to be massive, so it's going to be 100% worth it. And then we're going to eventually swap off of our uh, Wrath Reach. Right now we have triple chain which is it's great uh but uh we're gonna get something that has way more damage so you can see on our um lightning arrow our offense we have 2200 this is before buffs and i'm gonna swap to this bam third that wow that was like 50 percent more damage <laughs> that is massive and that's not even counting when we activate a flap we're gonna get another 30 percent increased uh elemental damage it's just so incredibly good okay so now that we're uh over here uh, we're actually going to go from Highgate to the bottom over here called the Dried Lake. There's an enemy we need to kill to get a thing called a banner. And then we're going to continue. What do I have right now? I don't need clarity. I wanted... Yeah, okay. Just okay. Time, and we're just going to start zooming. Is Azaro a map boss later? Uh, I don't think Azaro can be a map boss. I'm not up to that just yet. There's, there's like some sort of special thing. Gonna keep on going down. I like this area's music. Usually it's just like all the way down as much as you can. Uh, it might be until. Let's see if we go to the left and then down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're just in the dried lake. We're looking for a boss. Let's see, do we find him? So don't stand in that giant sl slam attack. A lot of bosses in this game in general will have some sort of slam attack. So yeah, he like charges up. You'll see a giant like yellow circle. I think he's pretty easy. So the important thing is we get the, the banner, and that's all you need from this area. How many portals do we have? We have nine. Okay, it's fine. Depending on your computer speed, sometimes it's better to log out. Sometimes if the servers are really bad, do not you don't want to do the log out strategy. And the reason why is because, well, it um, take long. Now we can go over here to the mines. And the only quest that's really important in here, um, since we're on this, is um, the Indominal Spirit, which is we go to the mines level two. Uh, let's, let's also grab this. Uh, where's this? Thick skin, so we get extra life. Okay, let's continue. That's no natural Just massive, massive damage. And we're gonna get way more damage because we can swap off of this bow. It's not really bad because I just like to use it until we get chained because, well, 
it makes the clear speed absolutely insane. I mean, our clear speed with triple chain is going to be fantastic anyways. But once we get the extra arrows, um, it's going to be even more awesome. So the mines level 2 is what we're looking for. And once we're in the mines uh, level 2, uh, the next thing that we want to uh, do is look for a spirit. And like put the spirit to rest. I don't know if I like that animation. What that is though, and that is the, the word of Tempest because how it activates is it's like I'm, it only activates as an AoE around you. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's not going to hurt us. It's just that it's just not going to, ooh, we got a Chaos Orb. Now, with just one Chaos Orb, we can get something else. So think of Chaos Orbs kind of like your $1. A lot of times people won't want to trade for anything that's under a Chaos Orb because it's just a waste of time because you can get okay so now you'll see that we're on the crystal veins but that's not where we want to go we want to still look for a um a quest over here so we're looking for a spirit we don't leave this area till we find it because we're not going to be coming back over here i'm not up to that just yet yes Oh, you're testing that out, Eminem? Yeah, I, I was testing that. Out. So, so when I did the lab and you did two trials and you did the lead mechanic and you got one chaos, yeah, it's not worth it. All right, so we're gonna click on the spirit and then now we can talk to Tatsuni in town. About to get another uh, waypoint pretty soon. So we're gonna go back up here. But there are other abilities in the game. If you're if you're if you're not enjoying the skill, like, I'm gonna show you guys what tornado shot looks like because this is like it was one of my favorite skills in the game until I discovered lightning arrow and like lightning arrow just got like insane clear speed. Uh oh, we're gonna now throw on. Um, wait, oh, my tally's still on. It removed it. So how, look look at tornado. So it shoots and then it makes a little tornado and then projectiles go in a lot of different areas. So I'll show you what it looks like in gameplay though. Uh, lightning arrow is still going to be superior for us because we're kind of built towards it. But like you can have all these little things bounce. Light, uh, tornado shot does usually less damage. It's also a level like two right now, so it's not going to do very much damage until we level it up. But it will start scaling, and, you know, obviously if we level it up. But uh, that's just in general how tornado shot works. It does a lot less damage, but you can hit multiple things with it. Let's see if we get a good roll on this two stone ring. So what I like to do with rings earlier on is I like to collect any, like this one, see how it's a two stone ring, but unfortunately it's a, it's a, it's already yellow. It's like a yellow one. So I can't throw an essence on. I like to just throw essences on these and if we get good rolls that we can keep them like this, they're not that great. Uh, ideally, this is what you kind of look for. You look for more resistances, life, and then uh, some sort of elemental damage. So like lightning damage, fire damage, cold damage, anything that scales with lightning damage. It's kind of what you want to shoot for. But as you progress uh, in the higher difficulties, you start to see Chaos Orbs and more of these little currencies uh, a lot more frequently. And the next skill point, we can get a Mastery in the Health Department and we get 50 more HP. And as you level up, you'll get more HP and mana as well. I love the Mirage Archer. You just like shoot once and then cleans up the next like couple areas sometimes. That's great. Okay, so we're gonna get the crafting recipe, get the waypoint, and we're gonna go back to the town. So we talk to Tatsuni, and he's gonna give us an extra um, skill point. I am your partner. Okay, there we go. Nice. Boom. And then we got two skill points. Um, so I can get, uh, if I want to get Life Master, I feel like I'm okay on HP right now, but like getting the plus 50 HP, that one's really awesome. Uh, we can also get increased maximum life if there's no life modifiers on my equipped body armor. So if anything has to do with life at all, um, yeah, it won't work. But that one can be a pretty decent one. And another one that's actually pretty good is that where skills cost life instead of mana, that one's actually really good for a lot of different things because, well, it kind of makes your stuff cost less, so that's a great thing. But what I want to do is I want to finish getting this so I can remove the uh, lesser multiple projectiles. So I got, now we're going to get one additional arrow. Now I'm going to push for this. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So in the next five levels, well, it could be less than that because we get more skill points, but th that's the only skill point quest in this area. Now we're gonna go back to the crystal things. And we could also get, 
mark on hit support. You know. Which is going to be bye. awesome. But I need to have uh, a... Um, let's see where I can put it. I need to put mark on hit and then also have um, it linked to uh, Sniper's mark. So this is lightning arrow. We're gonna love that. So once you get to Dahlia, there's gonna be two different areas that you can go to. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you choose, but it's for the sake of doing the same one that I'm doing, select the rest of the stream. So basically, there's two different bosses that we will face each one. So we, what you might be thinking of, Jay, for the boss that's similar to Azara, you can fight the little, like, uh, goddess in, that has, like, the little... She's, like, green? Like a, she's, she's, like, the offering to the goddess, and it has the same icon, if that's what you're thinking of. But yeah, as far as uh, Duress of Dream, we were basically just going through this, little, like, little gladiatory arena. Temple, these are... We're just melting stuff there. The prism weave belt, phenomenal. Absolutely amazing, because it gives you flat damage. It just gives you big numbers, big, big numbers. And then uh, we'll see if we can get maybe a five link relatively soon. We might need like two chaos orbs for that, but we'll see. Later you can get five links for one chaos orb that are like uh, unique or legendary, same, same kind of concept. Oh, we got frozen. Oh. So eventually you can get flasks that like remove freeze, but we're just gonna be immune to freeze. I hate getting frozen in this game. But you're not gonna have immunity early early on. People of the gutters, steal the for the slaughter. Melted so fast. But we want to be on full life so we can move as fast as possible because that's how the uh, the chest piece works. Alright, so we got another skill point here. This used to be a really good thing, but they nerfed it really hard. It used to give you just like a, a huge amount of chance to just like dodge skills. It was so good. <laughs> I've seen some of the tattoos. There's some bonker ones. Oh, tell me about them. Uh, he's playing, I think. Electric, that's why his name is Bzz, Bzz. But link me up or tell me how good they are. So, the new tattoos are the things that modify your passives. I've seen the plus one to skills, which is like okay for casters. Plus to skills is great for casters, but for most attack builds, plus one to like some sort of attack skill, like plus the lightning arrow, we get like we kind of get like small amount of like extra damage, but like for spells, it's pretty massive. Getting plus one to spells is is big, and like the sacrifice is like almost nothing. You just sacrifice the uh, like the thirty int or whatever, but those are limited to one per class. map is sweet. Ah, yes. A very cool looking map. Wait, did you see the next one? That's one of my favorite bosses. His name's Kaom. It's like, it's like in lava, and it's like an arena. Uh, although we might just kill him so fast, you might not be able to see his cool mechanic, but he like jumps in the lava and jumps out. The arena blades? Okay, so this is where the boss is at. I put in a stream? Okay, shaky. I'll check it out. He's saying that these tattoos are super awesome. That's good to hear. Uh, I don't think everything got revealed. What's crazy is none of the stuff got data mined fully in this league. Usually, like, I I usually visit PewDBTW, and they have, like, every unique before the league starts. And I usually, I don't make any build guides before the league starts because if there's some brand new item, I want to play with the brand new item, and I want to, like, make a build with it. Now, the problem is, is that, like, I might really want this item, but this item might be, like, so rare that, like, you know, it's not realistic for, like, a, a walkthrough. But, like, some items are super cheap, and 
they're really good. All right, so what is this? All right, so this is like the crazy tattoo. Replaces small dexterity, with grants skills fire additional project. Wow, that's, how much is that though, Shiki? Is that really expensive? Is that like a, a divine plus? That one is really good though. So that would make it so instead of getting 10 dexterity, which is like, doesn't really matter. We get an additional projectile. That is actually huge, especially for like tornado shot. Oh, actually we, after we, uh, after you kill him, by the way, you get one of these giant uh, kinder surprise eggs and um, that's all you need it for this area. So we're gonna go back to Highgate. And then we're gonna go uh, right back into the uh, crystal veins. And we need another see if this goes good 25 movement speed Woo! jackpot and this is a two nice and it's got life oh wow that was phenomenal phenomenal all right now uh if you talk to her she'll take one of the Can eggs from you and you're gonna give her both of them anyways there's oh oh it's 20 divines okay so that item is very very expensive but maybe it may be cheap later i don't know Let's see if we can get a, a, a bow here. Oh, wait, hold on. We've had this for a while. I should have put that in the stash. There's no way I'm going to use it. So if we get, like, triple element damage, we've got physical, cold. Okay. Uh, this is actually not too bad. But it's it's not, like, it's not good enough. I can, I can spend one Chaos Orb and get something phenomenal. Phenomenal in terms of DPS. We would get so much more damage. And if you're ever wondering, like, how do you compare items? What you can do is there's tools uh, like Path of Exile um, or Path of Building. And... You can see the item that someone's listing, and you can copy the item and paste it into your like character, and you you can find out what the numbers actually are because it's it can be really hard to mathematically calculate certain things when you have to deal with like it's easy to go from just raw da damage and then you just multiply it times how many attacks per second the uh, item actually attacks at, but when you start factoring in like crit strike chance and crit damage. Oh, man. Numbers, much higher. 69, nice. Oh, 69 months. Thank you, Shiki. I appreciate your 69 months of the sub arena. Let me give you Katana Flip for the sub. Oh, you got to mate. Thank you so much for your sub. I like, I love the new sounds. That I added some, some D1 sounds. I've been playing a lot of the, the health, the health three for Diablo. It's pretty. You felt like you uh, fight a boss. Attack side of the map. Uh, yeah, wait until you see the the next map that's coming up. Ooh, it's gonna be awesome. There's actually a lot of bosses in Act Four that you gotta defeat. So you fight two, and then you fight another three, and then you fight like another one. I mean, all these you always level up your gems ASAP. Like, stop what you're doing because you'll stop getting XP uh, on your gems. All right, well, almost there. One, two, three, three more, three more, and then we can drop the lesser multiple projectiles, and we can get something else. In fact, you can. Smart thing that you can do is if you get another bow. Let me see if we can get like a bow or something. You can start leveling up other gems while they're not even uh, on your character. Well, you're still equipping them on your character, but you have them on secondary weapon slots. And you can actually level up gems later to sell them for uh, uh, extra currency to other people. Oh, that one. That thing is pretty nasty. That that little ring uh, will remove your mana. It's like a mana siphon. Or if you stay in the middle of it, it's fine too. This guy's super tanky though. Sometimes, yeah, you gotta watch out for like, a lot of bosses in this game for whatever reason. I've never understood this design mechanic in an action RPG. Where like, you kill an enemy and then it needs to explode like six times. While you're trying to like, loot whatever it dropped. Let's so see if we get a... Uh, okay, no. Increase elemental damage is good, but... Flat numbers, it, when you're playing this game earlier on, flat numbers are always going to be more important. And in fact, pretty much towards the end of the game too, the flat numbers are better than like 40% like elemental damage because 40% of like 10 is still a really low number versus getting like you know, 30 damage is just going to be usually much better. Because it was weird because I was looking at some of the best builds when I like first started playing Path of X, I'm like, why does he equip this ring that gives him like, you know, 20, 30 physical damage? It's like nothing. But it's because all of that numbers get scaled and multiplied, and it's just overall much better than like the additive damage. Sometimes you can run into a nasty monster. And lightning damage is always the most nasty thing because you can get hit by like one damage, or it can hit you for like a thousand. The rolls are really extreme. And then 
If they also hit you and cause a shock ailment, you take more damage. And that's where the like one-shot effect usually comes in in this game. I don't really care to pick up that coin, it's fine. Just move on faster. We'll get some more HP after that extra arrow, though, because we're going to get a lot more damage after that. And we're going to swap bows. Oh, hello, Danny. How are you doing? Oh, thank you so much. I didn't notice on TikTok that uh, Burlos appreciate the, the gift. And Alec and Danny appreciate it as well. Appreciate the paper crayon heart. Hello, hearsay. Am I going to try a hardcore LA? What's LA? Lost Ark? Uh, I'm definitely not going to be playing Lost Ark. I I originally played that game in Korean when it first came out. Oh, love that. Uh, but, I don't know, there's too much of a grind in that game. I like how the game looks visually, though. But I actually like Path of Exile's art style the most. Although the characters could be a lot more attractive in Path of Exile. It's just, I, I like the itemization of Path of Exile over any action RPG by like a long shot. Pee Wee has the best itemization, the best uniques because they're actually like unique. D4 is trying to buff the uniques, but it's still going to be like a long process in my opinion. The reason why is like if you have to buff something three or four times and it's still not good enough, then well, I think who's ever in charge needs to have someone else kind of like tell them kind of what to do. If that makes sense. Like the uniques in Diablo 4, a lot of them are just laughably bad, and I don't know why. I don't think they need to be like the best in every single build, but like in Path of Exile, the uniques, most of them do something unique. Uh, D4 gets itemization so well, too. Okay, just, I just wish that the uh, uniques were just so much better in uh, D4. Anyways, we're here for PoE. Uh, so uh, now that we have the red egg, we're going to take the red egg and give it to Dolly, and she's going to use the laser takes her a second but she's gonna open up you can actually enter it without it blowing up you can just click on it immediately but uh, figure out, i'll show you guys the animation because it looks cool do i like the map overlay on like this oh yeah I, I use it once in a while i mean i i usually use the top right corner because via feedback some people were like it's clogging up the screen and i have mine on uh, really zoomed out that's fine it doesn't really bother me i kind of use both I've gotten kind of used to it, because in Diablo 1, like, you, you really need that thing. <laughs> but in this game, it's not that big of a deal to, uh, to just play on the top right, like, looking at the top right. But, like, um, the HP in this game, since it's in the bottom left, it's... I have my character's HP bar over there. I don't know why. I still look at my character's HP in the bottom left. Even though I, I put it in the other area specifically so I don't have to... Uh, I have my eyes bounce back and forth, but like I used to play a lot of Call of Duty, and like anyone that's plays Call of Duty, especially at like a, a good level, like every two seconds it's like look at mini map, look at mini map, look at mini map. So same thing with Poe, it's just kind of like, look at mini map and you kind of know where to go. Am I gonna try H? What is HC uh, lighting arrow? I'm not sure what you mean by AC. I thought you were talking about hardcore lost art. But yeah, what is HC uh, lightning arrow? Is this some new thing? Oh, I'll put the five stair by once for a second. But hello, Dan. We just grind, and that's what's up. I'm really excited about PoE's League, but I have so many games to play. I got In Guard, I got Baldur's Gate, I got obviously Path of Exile. With Diablo's new season just started for the PTR, like I have so much work to do. I'm like, a... <laughs> the thing with PoE, when I get on this game, man, it's so hard to get me off. I can legit play for 100 hours until like I, I'm like even thinking about getting burnt out. Like I, it's just it's my brain is just like, all right, we're, we're going with PoE. Like I love it. It's so nice to come back to every every few months and grind really hard for two weeks and then take a break up. Unless it takes me longer than two weeks to complete whatever thing we're doing. I think I think we get to fight in a volley. There's some, I think there's a new boss and I, I'd like to see the new mechanic, like the max difficulty and after we finish it, uh, that's it. Wait till, wait a couple months and that's kind of how action RPGs are. 
Which Diablo 4 is pinnacle boss, like Farshawn, this season was just a lot better. Farshawn is just such a facial, like, I, I defeated it my first time, like, there's no, no difficulty. That boss should have been, like, you know, Uber Lilith difficulty. I want some cool bosses, and, you know, with the design of Uber Lilith, Blizzard can do it, you know what I mean? Like, they, they can make hard bosses, and I want them to. I mean, granted, there's a lot of builds that can face roll it as well, but for the most part, like, you know, first time you fight, like, the, the, the hardest boss in the game, I don't really mind dying to it. Like, I feel like it'd be kind of cool to, like, learn the mechanics, but sometimes people don't like dying. I know that's a kind of a, a new gamer thing. A new gamer thing is, like, oh, don't worry, your health regens, but back, back when I grew up in games, like, you had to pop heals every single time you wanted to heal in video games. But now games, oh, they have like some sort of regen mechanic. That's fine too. It, it makes it a smoother gameplay experience, I get it. Oh, hardcore. No, I, I don't I don't play hardcore. Unless you're talking about, you, you mean Ruthless? Or like, cause right now we're playing, obviously on softcore. Hardcore is when you, when you, uh, you can die once, that's it. GG's. I don't I don't like that, especially for PoE. And my internet sometimes. I don't know why, but sometimes my internet will go out. Only for like 30 seconds. But like <laughs> 30 seconds, especially in Overwatch, can be a huge deal. Alright, so anyways, going to Belly Beast, we just keep on kind of just progressing until we find uh Piety the Abomination. Then we're gonna kill Oh, she hit hard right there. We need to get some spell suppression very soon. It's a lot less ability, but I want to get the extra arrow first. And we might get it right after this. Also, how was your XP eminent when you were doing the uh, the trial of uh, ancestors like mechanic? I was getting like 11% per run, which is terrible for like the 10 minute duration. 11% is like almost a level in my ooh, leveling process here. You so. just earned yourself some bigger prey, Huntress. Okay, come on, get up. Talk to her. Now we got to go find some organs. We'll level up one more time. Is that gonna put us at our, nope. It's gonna be one off. It's unfortunate, but that's how it happens. All right, so now we're in the harps, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fight three additional bosses. Act four is just like all about the bosses. I think it's already 5 a.m., that's crazy fast. I didn't even touch Boulder's Gate yet. And in guard, which is a brand new game I just bought and I haven't touched it either, but yeah, PoE will suck the time out, man. So we're already at 11% and we already just leveled up. I got 11% from the whole thing. So I think they need to scale the XP because it's not worth it at all. Uh, on the, uh, the little auto battler simulator thing. Because why even have early game rewards if, like, it's not even worth it, you know? All right, next one's getting big, and then we can swap and get uh, a lot more damage. And, uh, maybe before the boss, maybe do it in the next act. What are we at? I'll check the time if it's like under an hour, because I try to keep the play th play sessions at about an hour ish each. It's just act one, and it's just in particular just a lot longer, just explaining too many things. So we killed two. And we have to kill the last one, or just killed one. All right, two more. Umas. So we got Dodgers. Okay, so Dodgers has these this thing where there's like a Venn diagram and you don't want to stand in the middle. So e each one of these puts a condition on it. Vulnerability is going to make you take some more damage. It's a physical, I think, to be exact. This area, Temporal Change, makes you move slower. And this area also rotates. And Feeble makes you deal less damage. If I stand in the middle, I'm affected by all of them. So which one do I stand in? Well, uh, I don't care if I take more damage because I'm just not going to get hit. Kappa. <laughs> so, but it rotates. So ideally, just try to stay in one of them. It doesn't really matter. One. They're all bad. It's just the vulnerable one won't really affect you that much as long as you just don't take damage, you know? Oh, we're at our full. Okay, I'm just gonna drop these. I was gonna use that for another character, but it's fine. At some point. Look at that. What the heck is that? It's like a little toad. Oh, never seen that before. Anyways, uh, we're going up to the next boss. This is the final boss of the three, and then we find another boss.
Almost got us. Alright, we good. Your kind leave nothing but scars, Melagaro. Nice. Oh, that's fine. I'm not really too worried about picking up those silver coins. Cause like I said, the lead mechanic is not rewarding right now. Towards the end, I'm sure it is. They they always, most of the time they are rewarding. Remember Lake Collector? <laughs> There's there, there are some leagues in this game where like they they didn't give us really good rewards uh, later in the game, but most of the time it's worth it. All right, so we can talk to Piety. She's gonna open up this area. So we get to enter the core. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna check real quick what is we're gonna be at. All right, 15 minutes? Yeah, we, get, we can definitely check for some uh, upgrades here. I wanted to get the extra arrow, but since I already have the chain, which is all that this was really used for, honestly, uh, the, the crit multi doesn't really matter. The, yeah, this is gonna be a massive, massive amount of extra damage here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be, what are we, level 42? So we're gonna type in. Uh, we want a bow. We want to spend one chaos orb, and we are level. Is it 42? I already forgot. Okay, it's 42. Okay, 42, and then we hit to search, and then we are going to sort it by DPS. The only thing that I don't want is. Um, well, this is. Wait, that requires. Wait, did I type in the wrong thing? Hold on. I might have put minimum. Okay, yeah. We, we want maximum level 42. There we go. There we go. Okay, so 490. It's just usually going to be a triple stat. Bleed isn't really super useful, so if there's anything else that gives us resistances, so this is 490. Ideally, we get as many green sockets as possible, but I'm not gonna be too picky because I'm gonna replace this eventually. And this is 490 DPS. You wanna know what the um, Roth's Reach DPS is? Uh, Roth's Reach technically gives us um, increased elemental, which it may not factor in this, but this is like the DPS. So at the perfect rolls, we'd get 75, and this over here, um, see what we get like if one of these said like elemental damage it actually would be worth more but like i'm not really too worried about like the crit uh right now because it, it may not factor in the crit stuff as well um properly because we remember we cannot crit so getting any crit is basically like a, a useless stat but uh as far as doing like bleed because this is cold fire lightning it's a it's a triple like it's really hard to beat the triple um and this is it's got four sockets this is this is gonna be nice for us it's just one chaos orb and this will um this will be good for a while let's go i'll, I'll always read the item i'm not really too worried about it i mean most of the time if someone gives you the wrong item they're not trying to scam you especially at, like the earlier stages <laughs> And the only times people will generally try to scam you is if it's a really expensive item, so. Um. Oh, wait, I need a uh, Frenzy and Mana Forge to be linked. And then I could throw in that also if I want to throw in Steel Skin back into my build, because I didn't have room for it before. And then now I can do Sniper's Mark, and then um, I can go to. Desh, I'm watching you. What do you want? one of these vendors yes. and we can hopefully get um mark on hit support so we're gonna get mark on hit this will cost a orb alchemy but oh my gosh your hands will say thank you because now i never have to use my uh sniper's mark and it's just automatically on a rare or unique enemy it's just gonna curse them for free it is fantastic so the difference in damage by the way we're we are See? at so let's see we're at 3,800, bam, 7,000 damage now. And this item, if I want to, I can sell it. I'll show you guys how to sell things later on, uh, but it's not really super important to, to sell your items immediately right now. Um, I do want to try to uh, get to a higher link setup. So right now we are running a four link. Ideally, we would get a five link. Let's see what exists right now. Uh, what are we at right now? For time? Okay. I try to keep them at about an hour because sometimes I end up lo looking at items for a really long time so what we're going to look for right now is specifically we're going to look for body armor I mean I, I want a fox shade because I just like the movement speed there's not really anything let's see okay, if we can there's not really anything uh, let's see if we can find out is it fox yeah. there's not going to be is there even a four Okay, there's a four link, but like it's not really going to be an upgrade if it's a four link. Um, honestly, again, it's just uh, it's a massive amount of evasion rating. 
but it's not like I have to have this. If I can get a five link, let's say, let's see, one chaos orb, uh, level 42 as the max. Let's see. Oh, there's none? Oh, it's also because Fox Ray was still up in the text over there. Okay. So ideally, we would also want to go to, like, let's say, the armor filter and maybe like 500 evasion. Let's see if we can. Oh, there's none. So sometimes you'll have to be a higher level. Let, let's say we were like level 60. Okay, let's like, next like act or two. Oh, there's one right there. One chaos orb, although this is corrupted, so it's not gonna have like the ability to change the colors. And if you wanna change the colors at any point, you can always use these chromatic orbs. It's gonna randomize the colors. I don't really need to do it right now, but that is a way to uh, change the colors. All right, let's go ahead and do the uh, boss. So we're gonna go back to the harvest finish this act off here. So we're gonna go to the Black Core. Now we still have our Shrapnel Ballista. These are just kind of used for distraction, honestly. When enchanting items for Rogue, what should look for uh, in the weapon category? So, you're talking about in Diablo, right? So you want crit Crit damage, vulnerable damage, core skill damage, and then your main stat for a rogue in like 99% of builds. Also, one thing that's important is that mark on hit, you have to make sure you have the mana cost for it. Because if you don't have the mana cost for it, then, well, it's not going to be able to activate. So if I do this, so this says how much? 52 mana? So. It may not be able to be activated. Let me see. So noticing it's not like going on. Because our... We have to 18. I don't know what that means. So maybe it's only out for a perfect time. Because it costs me. It used to not. Any other, like the on hit stuff. So maybe if I'm perfectly full. Okay, so if I'm perfectly full of mana, it will cast it. Okay. But if I'm like low on mana, it's not going to cast it. So we're gonna have to destroy these little like things. So how this boss mechanic works, you just kind of shoot and move. But you, once you do enough damage to him, he's going to attack. Oh, you're gonna see these little hearts, and you have to pop them. Like he's gonna go to this one next. And we're gonna delete him so fast. Our damage just through the roof. Look at this. Oh, it's our first, that was our first unique drop. So, it is the Nailed Fist. And I have something called Awaken PoE Trade, so if I hit a hotkey, it'll tell me if this item is worth it. So, it could be worth one Chaos Orb. And let's see the rolls on. If I hold all, I can see the rolls, and it rolled 90%. But, we're more likely not going to get a better, like, bow here. But, just for the sake of having some fun. Yeah. And if I use this tool, this, by the way, is a free tool. It's called Awakened PoE Trade. So you can see, this shows me the weapon's DPS is 491. If I go to this one, well, this is 118, so yeah, quite quite a big difference. Okay, so now we talk to all of the defenders. See, then we get our first pet over here. Let's talk to all the characters because we're gonna exit to the top. Let me talk to Tsunia over here. Now we get a new skill. So we go to Diala and Oyun. So we can take Stone Golem, we can take Flame Golem, Ice Golem, Chaos Golem, Lightning, Tornado, or Snipe. Um, I actually do like Stone Golem, although I don't have the strength requirements for him. Uh, we're gonna take Ice Golem for now uh, because it's gonna give us additional accuracy and crit. Even though we can't benefit off crit, uh, well, we can definitely benefit off of having more accuracy. So I'm now gonna put my Ice Golem on this button and he'll die a lot in the very beginning, but later, He'll survive for a bit, and then he'll die towards the very end as well. But now we get another reward. Okay. So this is one of the newer things called returning projectiles. So there was originally a thing called Vengeance Cascade that would let the projectiles return to you. To you. Now it's, it does 70% less damage, so technically the projectile does return to you, so you're still getting 30% more damage, at least off of this. Um, it's okay. I, I'm not really too worried about getting that thing at all. Um, you can also get multi-strike. There's greater multiple projectiles. You can shoot more projectiles, but lesser, I like it a lot more because your clear speed is still going to be really good. Um, 
I'm going to take this because I want to level it up. No love. And what I can do, well, I'm going to put this in my stash real quick, and I'll show you guys uh, how to level up a gem without it being equipped. Because you see, I have no more rooms for any more gems, right? But what I can do, let's, uh, do I have any item in my stash? Maybe my old bow? Okay, I'll use my old bow. I'm going to put it on my secondary. So if I click right here, or hit, I think X is the default, I can actually have another item here. So let's say I want to level up my second wind, and I want to level up the returning projectiles. I can equip them here, swap weapons, even though I don't have it equipped, it's still in my second inventory slot, so it's still going to give me a bonus. What can we do for you? Uh, it's like, as in, it doesn't give me the stats, but it gives me the bonus ability to still level them up. And um, we're going to go and list for sale real quick. No one's probably going to buy this. I'll talk more about selling later, but uh, for now, I'm just going to throw this in here. I'm going to put a negotiable price, put 1k of sorb on it, and if someone buys it, I'll show you kind of how it works. But uh, yeah, we are here to go to the next act so we completed act four now we're already in act five i shop too much uh dude shopping is so much fun in path of exile though the, the thing is that a lot a lot of people like seeing how i shop because um, there is another tool to actually tell you what the best item is um it's pretty nice but it requires some knowledge of like how to get this like code but it is insane how efficient Path of Exile actually is as an action RPG. Like, basically, I can say I have this much gold, or in this game, it's you know, how many Chaos Orbs you have, or Divine Orbs, or Orbs of Alchemy. Um, you put in how much you have, and you can hit Search, and you put in, uh, you know, I want the most DPS, or I want the most tankiness, and it will it'll just use an algorithm and find, you know, what's the best for you. It's crazy awesome. But now we have four arrows, and in the next level, right, in the next level, next level we're going to have five, and we're going to remove the additional two arrows from lesser multiple projectiles, and then we'll add something else. Uh, ideally, I'd want to get a five link, but it's probably not too uh, doable now. So we click on this, and we're going to go to the portal. So from the ascent, you click on the little lever, it's going to open up a portal, and then now we are in the slave pens. This waypoint we'll never go to again, but we're entering a new area. Now these gates, whenever there's a broken part of a gate that's on the high ground, you can actually dash up and down it. I'll mention it uh, when we see it, but it significantly increases your speed, at which you can actually uh, complete these areas. This is kind of like the tile set for this act. My mana is gone. You may need a little bit more mana. But as we level up, we'll get more mana. And I'm not leveling up anything that's going to uh, cost more mana, so. Basically, as soon as we're full mana, though, it uh, as long as we get that one thing to be hit by it. The sniper's mark. You know, it, it makes this, the process so much smoother by not needing to do that. Oh, there's our big, awesome, extra additional arrow. And now we can move off of running. Now we have extra projectiles. It's still not bad to have more projectiles because there's a 30% chance for it to chain. But I personally still just prefer having three arrows, like, throughout the whole game. Um, if you're running Tornado Shot, the more that you have, it can be better. But interestingly enough, we actually gain damage if we remove lesser multiple projectiles reason why is because it gives you more arrows it lowers your damage that's like the, the trade-off okay we got, I didn't even really get to see the boss but there's like a little boss that comes up he's relatively uh, a push over them all right so now that we've entered this act this is gonna go wrap it up for uh, part four act four of our POE playthrough Thank and in the next part, well, okay, let's let's get this first. So, what, this reward is actually not bad. A lot of the rewards in this game are very mid. So right now, in terms of resistances, we're A-OK -okay on all of them. You can see uh, this is fire resistance, cold resistance, lightning resistance. So we're good on all of them. We do this um, except for if I remove this, I guess we'll be not perfect on that. But this gives us 27 life. Freedom so we're going to go, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. All of them are pretty much going to be the same. So, I'm oh, not purchase them. I need to get my reward. So... Anything with lightning resistance is totally fine. This one has 15, so I'm gonna grab this one because it's more. <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna identify it. Hopefully it could roll life on it. Ooh, 
life per enemy killed, another 10 to all res. I mean, this is pretty nice. It's gonna cap us uh, on resistances, gives us some damage, gives us some life regen, but, uh... That's fine, yeah, it's... Does it add damage? But if I equip this, I'll be, like, pretty much maxed out on all the resistances, eh, which I think is kind of worth it. So, oh, what's this one? This one's 56 life and two res. Oh, 56 life on top of a 27 life. So that's a lot nicer. Okay, so if you get any two stone rings, you can, you can keep them and then just use your essences on them. I like to do that. We definitely can get a replacement for our amulet though. What we ideally would want is an amulet that has a uh, anointment. So it has like an enchantment on it. Uh, what are we at right now? It's like 105. We can maybe reserve that for our next part of replay session. We don't really have any currency. I have like four orbs of alchemy, which is like almost a chaos orb. I think that's it though but uh yeah i'm just gonna go get rid of some of the stuff and we will stream the next part very soon so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this part drop a like on your way out and i'll see you guys in part five act five